everyone, my name is Kira, and today we're going to be playing Depersonalization, which is in early access right now, and I've been really looking forward to playing it. Also, if you're wondering why I look like a wet rat, it's because I just got out of the shower and I really wanted to play this tonight, and I'm not going to wait for my hair to dry. And I know what everyone is saying, you just use a hair dryer. I don't want to. I'm far too impatient to do such a thing. So, we're going to play this while my hair air dries. <laughs> So if I'm correct, and don't quote me on it, but I believe this game, currently because it's in early access, has one module, and I know that the game's not as finished as it could be, which is, again, early access. So they are going to be adding more things, so if I say something, don't take it too harshly for the game, because, again, early access, there's still stuff in development, they're still adding things, there'll be more modules later, and a bunch of stuff, but for now, we're gonna try this out, because it's also supposed to be really spooky, and it's a turn-based game. All in one and one in all, scenario duration, medium, identity of investigator, preset role, type of scenario, Morden. I think it's only this one. This is a tale of the forgotten ones, when false history fa- when, yeah, false history falls, how do humans decide their destiny, when all your life has been a facade? Will you still light others' paths with your candle? Maybe. <laughs> it's kind of cute. In the deepest of awareness. The keys of the the key of the stars. You are the origin of my origin, and my last hope to break through the cage of space time here. At this moment, the history of this place cannot be rewritten. I need to go back to the beginning of my consciousness and fall asleep. Before that, you need to replace me in this space. Only you can break through the barriers of space-time here. Dot dot dot. Oh! Pretty. Are those tears or rain? In the bedroom, a child of about eight years of age is changing the daffodils in a vase. A young woman is lying in bed, leaning against the hard headboard to rest. Ah, it's our mom. Anam. Mom, none of the aunts and uncles are awake. I tried to wake them, yet nothing happened. So I sneaked into the garden and picked some flowers. Will they blame me when they find out? After hearing the child's words, the mom's woman's face turned sad. But still, she braced her body, faced to the child, faced to the child. I don't think that's right. Faced the child, then explained slowly. A good boy like you has nothing to do with it. Your aunts and uncles are just too tired. Thus, they need a good rest. You shouldn't bother them at all. Anan, thank you for taking care of mommy all the time. Oh, I can turn it down just a little bit more. Try 30. Once I've recovered, we'll move to town and live there together. You can make a lot of friends and go out freely. Really? My grandpa said I can never leave the castle. It's okay. Grandpa will definitely agree with this. Anon, can you bring a message to Grandpa for me? I'm feeling much better now. Tell Grandpa that he shouldn't worry. But don't go to the secret room. Secret room? Otherwise, your father will be angry. Button? You promised your mother you would do as she asked. I didn't say anything. What are you talking about? I want to go to the secret room. You're ready to leave now so as not to disturb her rest. Change of clues. Luck upgrade. I don't know what any of this means. Get clue. Oh, I read these. Mom is resting. I can't disturb her. Okay. This is so cute, by the way. I love all of this. Pick up. What did I just get? How do I... tab? A water bottle. Use. Increase moist... Oh, I hate that word. Extinguish the flame or direct the current. A bottle of water. 
just a bottle of water. Okay, we got luck. There will be one day when luck runs out. Don't overuse it. Gold, the essential item to achieving some goals. Okay. That's our party. Oh, are these things I can craft? Hello, umbrella. Screwdriver, shield, saw. I can like I can collect materials. Okay. I can make a highly explo What kind of child are we? We can make a bomb? Bandages, alcohol, body enhancer. I also didn't Oh. I found a translation problem. It's fine though, I can kinda make out what it is. But runes. Huh. Oh, that's cute. I really love the artwork of this game. No magic for now. Okay, and here's our list. Your mother looks much better now, and in order to and in order to not worry the family members, she asked you to tell your grandpa about this information. At the same time, she warned you over and over again not to disturb your father's work in the secret chamber. For some reason, you cannot remember all the things in the past. But you remember there is a secret passage leading to the secret chamber behind the family portraits. Hi. Oh, I can save. Nice. It's family portraits, you say? This is your family photo. There are about ten people pictured here. A little boy is sitting on the knees of an old man with gray hair. Behind him stands a young couple. I don't see anything. Wish there was an actual picture. It's the drawer your mother forbade you to open. In order not to make your mother angry, you never opened it. But I want to open it. I'm a rebel. <laughs> oh. <laughs> what is- how do I determine- What did I need? Check observed. Difficulty needed to need up the check success. What did I roll though? Did I roll the six or the two? I don't know if I need what's in here. I'll pass for oh. A kerosene lamp. Add the flammable state to the target, which will cause damage, and add burning state when affected by ignition or combustion. Plus damage bonus. After each attack, the most one durability. How durable is it? It's a brawl type. Okay. Take all. Alright, can I equip- oh, wrong button. Oh, tab. Okay. But I got a lantern. Uh, offhand? Let's see what else we find in the room. Oh, flowers. Uh, gain SP 1 to 3 can only be used when SP does not exceed 50. Okay. There's a few things. You gently close the bedroom door. Set the carpet on fo- what? Okay, I know I said I wanted to be a rebel, but I didn't want to be that rebellious. Holy crap. No, I think we'll pass. Hey, family. I'm such a bad idea. This is your family photo where about 10 people stand together. An old white man is standing in the middle. An old, a young couple holding a baby is beside him. The young woman does not look well, her face is pale. And the man behind her is wearing a black, wide-brimmed hat so you can't see his face. You skillfully activate the hidden door switch and the passage to the secret room appears in front of your eyes. I know we're not supposed to be. What does that do? Oh no, this music.
I'll leave that out. Oh, nice. Difficulty success. Confirm. We're standing outside the door. The dull sound of something heavy hitting the wall and pulling of chains from inside the room. Interspersed with them is the hoarse whisper of a man. Who can represent us? How did I erase- how do I erase myself? Child, don't you recognize your father? Don't be afraid. Can't you see the hero's badge on my face? Don't you want to touch this badge? Are you really my father? Then I'll get the code word right. They gesticulate with their hands for a while. Ah, Daddy, it really is you. Ow, take it easy on me. You recall memories of your father's injuries and disfigurement. I'm sure this is something like... We're supposed to come here to remember that. Cover? Saves. Okay, that's what I meant. I don't want to get too many saves. I'll get confused. I'm afraid to knock. There is no sound coming from the inside of the door. Everything around seems to fall into silence for an instant. You find that the door of the secret room is unlocked. And you can push it open gently. I'm so... Oh no. I feel like I should leave. But... I'm so curious. Our father sounded like a nice man. Oh no, Ben. Hello. Is... Is that uh, Anon? Dad hasn't seen you in a long time. Come over a bit, a little bit more. I want to hear your voice. Oh god. Well, he sounded nice in the memory. A bandaged face comes close to you, then a crimson claw emerges from the darkness. Yeah, I figured, uh... We did? No, we're fine. Spirit. The sound of the chains behind him rings out. The sharp claws stop before your face. My child, just leave here. I'm being replaced by... But I want to stay, you're my dad. <sighs> His hand's being weird. Like, it seems to grow and shrink, and not extend and go back. Big, small. I... I don't know what to do. There's a gun, I kind of want it. And there's a box. I feel like that was like a warning. <laughs> um, nah, fuck, we're already here. We're already here. I clicked it. Post strength check. I need a 78. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Oh, okay. Strength opposed check success. You insist- your insistence to stay enables you with more power than usual. Your father failed to push you out of the door. I- I can't do that. You can't represent us. Who can represent us? I have no idea what the hell is happening. The chest has been opened, it's empty. I don't want to get- Uh, check once, cost luck, points to recheck. Okay. Okay, we didn't find anything in there. You remember your grandpa's warnings about the chest. You only know that what it contains is extremely dangerous, but you can't remember the details. Oh <gasps> No, 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 no! Okay, I'm leaving. I'm not that stupid. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Let me up. 
Let me up. Ugh. He was moving towards me. I didn't like that. Mm -mm. Okay. Set carpet on fire. Um, can I use this? Oh, does not exceed 50. Oh, okay, I see. I feel like that water, by the way. And I know you guys are like, no, just reload and go get the box thing. <laughs> What is happening? What is that? Excuse me? Can I help you? You feel uneasy for no reason. Oh, there was reason. As if there are many unseen dangers lurking around you. But you think? You hear strange sounds coming from all around. Taunting, laughing. The feeling disappears when you breathe out. Oh, good. A heavy sound like the door being pushed open rings out from behind you. You can't help but look back. A man wrapped in bandages pushes the portrait aside and slowly walks from the corridor out of the secret room. Don't go to our mom's room. Don't you do it. Don't you go in there. You leave our mama alone. No. You leave mama alone. saving a lot. I'm so sorry, guys. I'm just super nervous. You leave mama alone! Grace, my love. We can finally be together for eternity. Black fog intertwines around both of them, and their forms dissipate into the void. You watch your parents disappear into smoke. You hear the sound of a string snapping in your heart. Calligraphy on the letterhead is elegant. You recognize it to be your mother's handwriting. There are some words of love written in it. A letter from mom to dad. Pocket watch. Oh, I can put items in there. Well, finally gonna open this. Well, open it now. She's not here. We got nothing more to say about this? Alright. Our mom seemed lovely. What the heck did you do with our dad? Our dad seemed really nice, too. What the heck is going on? <gasps> Go back to the secret room. <gasps> Go back to the secret room. Now that he's not there. Oh. Oh, I thought I could check these. You found a lot of illogical words written in a mess of, on a notebook. Who should represent us? The shadows say, sorry, I don't represent family acts. They're a little too cute. The dog says, we have a really amazing act. You should represent us. The father says, okay, okay, I'll take a look. The dog dresses himself in father's clothes, and father paints himself black as the shadow. The shadow dressed as the dog. The dog says to the shadow, we have a really amazing act, you should represent us. The shadow says, sorry, I don't represent family acts, they're a little too cute. The dog says, sir, if you just see our act, you, we know you would want to represent us. The father says, okay, okay, I'll take a look. The dog dresses himself in the father's clothes. The father paints himself black as the shadow. The shadow dressed as a dog. I'm a little confused. So it's like the same paragraph is said twice. A note looped to the end. You feel inexplicably depressing. The text came from the special containment procedures of SCP-3999. Is this an SCP? I'm playing an SCP game. 
I am at the center of everything that happens to me. SCP-3999 is kind of a stream of consciousness work in which a horrible being lives inside the main character's body. In order to stop it from getting out of control, the main character ultimately chooses to end his life. Its original author is Lord Stonefish, who suffered from severe depression, with CP SCP-3999 being a miniature of his, of his inner world. Oh, maybe that's what's in the box. What's in the box? It's probably what's in the box. Okay, well, that was interesting to know. Okay, so this family owns an SCP, probably in that box. Why can't I set the carpet on fire? I appreciate the little detail, but... You look out the window, the sun, the grass, the forest, that's the world you've always wanted to be in. We've never gone outside. Um, oh, I have a revolver. Uh, let's put that in our main hand. Let's put this in our offhand. There we go. Pocket watch. Power. Plus ten. There's a chain at the end of the watch which would fit in the vest pocket. That's so sad. It makes me almost want to cry. I don't know what it is. I just feel like this kid has just lost both of his parents. I she'd say something. Oh, I can take candles? Can I put candles in? Oh yeah, but they're not lit. Okay. Yeah, there's some translating issues, but... Again, early access. Just when you are about to enter the room, time stagnates. You lose consciousness, you don't know how much time has passed. When you awaken, your grandfather is standing before you. As you look around, you notice that a door has appeared in the study. One you've never seen before. Child, you are the last hope of the family. All the stars in the world align according to certain laws. But people's fates differ. We let you take on too many responsibilities, more than you should bear. Now, little one, I allow you ten years of freedom. Okay. Grandfather points at the stone door standing in the center of the study. This door connects two worlds. You see the meadow and forest outside. You find that the grandpa... You find that the grandpa is not as strict as usual today. His speech is unusually soft. Yeah, that's a little... Not quite right, but that's fine. At one moment, this makes you feel quite weird, and you subconsciously ask... Grandpa, we are not going together. Grandpa, I don't want to go. I gotta be with you. I don't want to leave here. I don't like the world outside. I want to stay with Daddy and Mommy. I don't think Daddy and Mommy are here anymore, kiddo. Sorry. I don't want to leave you. Child, I didn't gift you with a happy childhood. It's all Grandpa's fault. Your parents. Grandpa couldn't save them. Now at the end, I can only offer you a small gesture. I'll buy you ten years of freedom. Anon, my dearest child, I'm proud of you. Even when you are down, you can face life with optimism. But the haze still grows in your heart. I know you've been putting up with the misery. Just try and forget about it. Forget the stone walls and the structure of this house. Forget all the faces of your family. Forget about our past memories. Forget everything that happened here. But my little one, remember, the sky is always the same. No matter where you are, the stars will light your way home. 
I have a lot of problems with this. In your eyes, the doorway transforms into a soft and comfortable bed. Now you just want to rest. A good rest. You went through the door in a daze. The meadow and skyline that were there a moment ago suddenly disappeared. A waterfall of heavy rain followed you, fiercely washing away the town in front of you. Dunwich. The heavy rain roared along with the river. The huge castle standing on the cliff collapsed in a flash, and the town was raised to the ground. You felt dizzy, falling unconscious on the side of the road. Right at that moment, a scholarly-looking old man with gray hair happened to be driving a Ford in the torrential, torrential downpour. Torrential? The blinding headlight shone towards your collapsed body on the side of the road. Thanks for leaving us somewhere safe, Grandpa. Finding your unconscious body, he rushed out of the car and carried you to safety. In the gusts of wind and pouring rain, the car safely bypassed the mudslide and drove all the way to Providence. Ten years later, Providence Nighttime Dormitory. I have a lot of problems with this scenario because basically weird shit was happening, right? And Dad did something to Mom and they both vanished. And we know Dad had stuff ha bad happening to him. Don't know what, but we know it was happening. My thing is, okay, you're gonna buy us 10 years of freedom. We looked like we were maybe like 10, 12, right? Even if you buy us 10 years, that's still gonna put us at 22 best? It's not enough to live the rest of our lives. It's like, are we gonna get teleported back to the castle after 10 years of freedom? Like, and you're making, wiping away all of our memories so that any recollection or chance we have of survival is severely diminished? <laughs> Thanks, Gramps, I guess. Oh, you're a handsome man. Look at you. Another conflict occurred near here. The security around here is getting worse and worse. Just follow the doctor's advice and rest early. I hope the medicine works. You seem to have sealed some of the memories and want to unseal them, but you cannot suppress the pain. It is like a big mess of things tumbling around in your head. You can only deal with this little by little, because the recollecting is too painful. But you cannot stand the memories. If you think about them too long, you have to force yourself to forget them and start the process over again. If you keep putting it there, no matter where it is, it's, it is like a big mass that accumulates more and more. How to solve it by physical means. Just before you use extreme methods to solve the problem, your reason takes control of yourself takes control of you. You finally managed to get to the hospital. However, the hospital did not find out the cause of the illness. They only gave you a pale psychiatric diagnosis report. I think by pale they mean vague. Chief complaint. Insomnia, palpitations, accompanied by hallucinations. History of present illness. Poor appetite, memory disturbance, partial loss of emotional function. <laughs> What do you mean by partial loss? Are we a psychopath? Like, do we have a problem with sympathizing? Like, or is that a sociopath? I always get the two confused. Physical exam, BP 10251, P110 NSPE. Diagnosis, it is recommended to avoid adverse event stimuli and fall asleep earlier. Prescribe small amounts of oxazolam as medication. You take the medicine bottle out of the cabinet and open it. Said to medication. The medication prescribed by your doctor to prevent you from being affected by psychiatric disorders, which may lead to hallucinations. I hope I have a good dream tonight. Under the effect of the drugs, you had a rare good dream today. There was no writing on the envelope, but the pattern stamped on the wax seal seemed inexplicably familiar. You subconsciously opened the envelope. Anon, 
My dearest child, today is your 18th birthday. I have prepared a birthday present for you, for which I have placed in my study. For reasons I can't write in detail here. But I'm sure you can find it. You are the last hope of our family, and I believe you will be able to overcome this disaster. Love forever, your grandfather, George Howard. Didn't you erase our memory of you? Why did the letter disappear? Your mind is flooded with fragmented images. It's like a dream, but you don't seem to be awake yet. Memories come up from the depths of my memory, yet nothing can be grasped like smoke. You try to digest these memories. Fortunately, there is none of the usual pain in digesting memories this time. An image comes to your mind, where you see the old castle at night. In the sky, the Star of Enlightenment shines brightly. The chapel on the west side, the dome of the Stargazer, everything is so familiar. Finally, you remember the memories of your family. Hold on. Gotta get this coffee. News says the meat products delivered to the city from Arkham have a major food safety incident. Although the related food companies have been investigated and punished, most of the food has already entered the market. The person who eats it will have crazy symptoms, and the symptoms are not obvious during the incubation period, after the patient will fall into mania, impulsiveness, irritability, and other emotions. As a result, there have been several violent clashes. Thesis. It mainly focused on the study of the lost city of Carcosa. It was said that this city disappeared in an abnormal catastrophe. Hundreds of thousands of people, including buildings, mysteriously disappeared overnight. It set off a chain reaction that led to wars between the surrounding dynasties for several hundred years. Horror fiction. Bizarre stories, gripping plots, and the unspeakable terror. Observe, use, and explore. Initial reading, try to find some useful clue in it. Amy's recommended books. I haven't finished them all. After that, I'll return them to the library. Kagul's Parka. This coat can follow you everywhere you go. The material is super sturdy. You can use it for a long time for sure. Concealment plus 10. Nice. What about this? Can I have this? Tranquilizer. Gives me 1 to 4 SP. Remove confusion. Can only be used when SP does not exceed 65. Medical records. Which I think I already read. But I'll take those with me too. Okay. Thank you. I really do love the art style. I know I've said that a couple times already, but I really do. We still have our flowers and stuff. Ah, oh, I should have kept my weapons and stuff in my inventory. Oh wait, no, I still have it. Okay, explain that to me. Um, let's do offhand. Let's have this be our main hand. Guns always should be main hand. And we'll go ahead and save. Oh, our HP went up a little bit. And they'll pass. There we go. Where am I going? I was so interested in everything else that was happening. Oh, letter from mom to dad. We didn't get to read this. The writing of the letter is beautiful. You recognize it as your mother's handwriting. Ronald, my love, my father warned me that I cannot meet you at this moment, so I can only deliver my thoughts in this way. Some love words. Y Yarnum has woken up, please don't worry. And that method has taken effect. He has forgotten that thing. I will take good care of him in my last time, and he will not be hurt again. If we cannot overcome this disaster, Ronald, my last wish is to die with you. Cross an intercontinental bridge to go to Arkham. 
You've met a lot of people in 10 years. The person you have the closest relationship with is Professor Carl, a humorous and warm professor of psychology. It would be better to visit Professor Carl before leaving. Where is Professor Carl? Oh, Carl's. <laughs> As soon as you enter the room, you see Carl drinking drunk while humming his own unique tune and writing the manuscript happily. <laughs> Professor Carl, you're drinking again. I won't be able to drink after today. I'm not an alcoholic. Did you know, Anon, that this is also a kind of personality mask. A persona. Can't say that I comprehend this very much. For example, being drunk is a mask for my personality. When I'm drunk, I can roll around without any worries letting my emotions out. I have some wine here. You want to try it? You need more variety of emotions than a single one. You can try to imitate and gain more non-theoretical knowledge. This also is good for your spirit. I got it, sir. I have also tried to read some literature. How does that feel? I hate it. No. Specifically, I hate stories because people don't tell stories just to tell them and listen to them. They put themselves in a position of authority to state that they think what they think are the right values. Not always, but I understand what you're coming from. Santa Claus will have a list of bad kids. It takes a hard-working bee to get the honey. A woman is made from one of Adam's ribs. These familiar stories are laced with many personal values. The more widely they are told, the more they bind people. To me, the power of the story to speak is the so-called truth, which later becomes an enforced right. You really care about the true history. Yes, I would like to know what the story itself... Sorry, what the story itself is really like. But no one can go back in time to feel the real history. We can only summarize the past from the perspective of a grand narrative. Well, I don't think you're here today to discuss academics. Sir, I've come to say goodbye. I'm going back to Arkham. Great. Even if you don't go, I will also persuade you to go out. One's past experiences will affect every aspect of the present. But I can't awaken your past memories with any hypnosis method. This should be the cause of your current problem. Of course, you'd better you'd better relax your mind, even if there are no results. Just think of it as a relaxing vacation trip. People still need more sense of purpose to do. Understood. I hope that before you come back, I've found the psychological explanation for your condition. Here is the car key. I won't be going out anytime soon. Well, if you're embarrassed, you can wash it for me on the way back. It's been with me for many years, and it's an old thing like me. Thank you, Professor. There are numerous scattered pieces of consciousness that have been stored in the subconscious sea since the evolution of humans. The subconscious group... The subconscious group consciousness is the origin of human common habits. And yet, which came first, the sea of subconsciousness or the idea of human group consciousness? What precisely is there in the most profound human dreams? Is there a god who manipulates people, or is there just a void in the depths of the subconscious ocean? The body and mind are inextricably linked. The mind is never formless and is never independent of the body. Everyone is born with a brain capable of thinking and feeling. And because all complex emotions in humans have corresponding and exquisite biological mechanisms, changes in the body affect changes in the mind, and vice versa. I'm sure all of that will help later. The cluttered desks, the characteristic of academic professors. Nice. Sir, what is this painting about? It was sent to me by a previous patient of mine to thank me for curing his strange illness. He was young, but kept complaining that his memory was getting worse and worse. He said he kept dreaming of strange sights, and then he woke up and didn't remember anything. He only remembered a vague place, and that he'd like to visit in his dream. 
So I hypnotized him and made him search for his memories for memories in his dreams. Then I received this painting and he must have found it. Look, he's smiling in front of that yellow house. You can see a broken yellow badge in the mail. When you touch it, you feel something strange. There's a twisted, distorted line on the back. Strange rune. There's something wrong with this thing. I can't let it get to the teacher until I figure it out. Teacher, I may know something about this badge. Can I take it and study it for a while? Here, take it. I got a mountain of clutter. Haven't got time for them either. Broken badge. Hmm. Hmm. Intercontinental Bridge, yeah. So what's in the library? Because that actually costs time to go to. I can't save here. Huh. I kind of want to go just to see. I guess we'll skip it for now. Because I don't know what else we're going to come across that costs time. Oh, <gasps> kitty! No cat. Come back, I love you. Caretaker. Isn't this Anon? As always, those animals still don't like you. I don't know why. No matter what kind of animal, they seem full of hostility towards me. But I don't think they are hostile towards you, more like fear you. All the animals in school are submissive, and you are a really special person. Have you ever considered a part-time job at a zoo? <laughs> Forget it. I don't want to be complained about by animal protection organizations. <laughs> Behold among sand someone is planting. Will no one tell me what he sings? Perhaps the plaintive number flow for old unhappy far-off things. Familiar matter of today. Some natural sorrow, loss, or pain that has been and may be again. The music in my heart I bore long after it was heard no more. Hmm. Let's check. The surrounding soil is struck is stuck to the main manhole cover tightly. You can't remove the man cover hole. I need a crowbar. A pry bar. Barn Street. Torn note. There should be no such street as Barn Street in the city. Hello? You find a torn note in the trash bin. Contact address, 10th Barn Street. How do we know where to go for this then? Principal Stone died at 10.38 a.m. on December 28, 1919, due to ineffective medical treatment. Death age 65 years old, and according to Mr. Stone's last wish, everything should be kept simple. wonder if these are like backers or something. Every day, numerous notices are posted on the notice board. Consequently, many notices are torn. You found some half-torn notices around that haven't been cleaned up yet. Wanted item in bounty. The photo of the wanted item is a yellow badge. Does that have a rune on it? Sign, Antiquities Collector. However, the contact column was torn apart. Hmm. Because the rune on the back was yellow. We'll buy a good baseball bat together, as you promised last time. As you can see, I have already paid for it. Now it's your turn to pay your part. It's with me, and you can use it any time. I, I don't have enough money. What? Or hmm. I, I can only give you five bucks at most. This is worth a hundred bucks at least. You have to pay half of it. Fifty bucks. This stick is clearly not worth so much. Are you doubting me? 
So all I have to do now is go back, tell my father you're going to buy that thing back. I, I only have 20 bucks. I just consider me a, a loss this time. We are brothers after all. After accepting the money, the blonde-haired man leaves cheerfully. Hey, buddy, you okay? Brother seems kind of like a dick. I wouldn't have... I wouldn't have brought the money out if it wasn't for buying it back. Where can I raise 20 bucks? What to do now? Today is the last day my boss required me to get things back. I thought maybe he was a side quest, I guess not. Ooh, what's that? Some phone numbers are written on the note. Among them you see... 6-6-6-3-5-8-5-4-7-7. Railway Administration. A card was affixed under the note. Nothing is marked on the card. Leaving only a string of strange numbers. The place where the coin is placed has traces of being tampered with. You realize this machine might fail and swallow coins. Well, I don't want to give it a coin if it's just gonna... There are many coins lying inside quietly. Okay, well, I'm not going to mess with it if it's just gonna eat my money. I think I got everything. Scout the grassland. Fortunately, fortunately, you find some four-leaf clovers among the rubble of the grassland. Equipment. Luck improvement check. Increases luck two to five. Well, why wouldn't you use that? Ah. Luck growing up failed. <sighs> Unfortunate. But I was like, why wouldn't you just use that if you can? Let's go to a pharmacy, I guess? Oh, it's an actual store! You're pretty. You walk into the pharmacy and a young doctor is sorting out medicines. She notices you coming and looked up at you. Your physical condition looks good. That's all that's left of the alcohol after you buy it. Tell the drunkards behind you that the alcohol is out of stock. I should probably get some bandages. How many co How much coin do I have? 120? I can at least buy one of them. Interaction hint? Talk. Deny being an alcoholic. Sorry, I misunderstood. Too many people come to me to buy alcohol recently. In order to prevent the alcoholic from damaging the equipment, I put everything away. Oh! Why are you hiding the splint? You had the alcohol for everyone to see. Alcohols aren't gonna buy a splint. Move fracture. Ooh. I'll take one of those too. Okay. Talk. Do you want to buy herbs directly? Is it true that there are many chemical components in plants that are effective for the human body? But there are not many people who overcome the bitterness of herb juices. I can sell you some. Oh, these are much cheaper than... Nice. Oh, there's no more to talk about. Okay. I'm- I'm good. I'm good. 
Um. Ah, uh, that's okay. I don't really. Yeah, I'll just keep. I feel like everything I have, I'm gonna need at some point. I don't want to spend all my money either. We'll just go to Intercontin because. One, I don't know where we're going to need. But two, I don't want to spend all my time going to shops when I don't want to spend all my money. Because I don't know if I'm going to need it later. The story will go to the next stage. You cannot go back to all of this. Providence to Arkham, Massachusetts is not too far by car. More than 143 miles of road can be reached in one day. But there are many mountain roads. The mountain breeze blowing on your face makes you feel relaxed. Maybe it's a good idea to travel occasionally. There are many quaint little villages and rugged trails along the way. Through field after field of corn and orchards, the leaves are changing color decorating the trees, bright red and golden, brilliant and full of life. In the evening, you follow the map marker to, an un to a mountain road. Unknowingly, clouds cover the sky. Raindrops hit the car windows sporadically. You are ready to speed up your trip. But until night fell, the town of Dun Dunwich remained unknown. You drive your car and follow the map to your hometown. But until night fell, the town of Dunwich was still missing, and you were surrounded by the mountains. Just at the time that you don't know what to do, a covered bridge appears in the mid of the mountains, but the stone pillar in front of the covered bridge does not seem to allow your car to pass. Oh, a lot of saving, oh no. Music's kicked up too. Yay? I think I have to roll lower for this game. Confirm? Something is coming. Yeah, I have to roll lower. Rats? A group of fat rats appeared in front of you. Well, that's very judgmental of you to say. You were surprised. How can there be such big rats? I feel like we just dodged a bullet, okay. Nice. <gasps> Ooh. Very nice. There are traces of passing and some floors have been replaced. Also looks solid and shows no signs of wood aging. When you pass through the porch bridge, you find that there are clouds of white fog around you. No matter how hard you change your direction, you can't return back to the position you entered. You can only keep walking forward. After a long, unknown time, the white fog dissipated, and the surroundings fell into darkness. When the light is restored, you've arrived at a broken corridor of the ancient castle. Here we go. That was creepy. No, it's creepy. Ooh, cool music. A broken pillar collapsed directly, crushing the table in the broken hall. Could that be the signs of weathering? How is this possible since weathering takes at least a few decades? those options <gasps> mom's bedroom you enter the bedroom most of which has been destroyed by the collapsed debris piled gravel and layers of cobwebs make the place look like a graveyard I can't open the drawer Well. 
Wherever you look, there is gravel and sand. You search carefully and finally find a photo among pieces of rubble. The photo shows a group of a family. There are ten or so people in it. An old, gray-haired man is standing in the middle. Beside him, a young couple is holding a child with long, baby blue hair. The woman does not look good. Her face is pale. The man behind her is wearing a black, wide-rimmed hat. So you can't see his face. You find that the child between them is a girl you've never seen before. When you try to keep this picture nice, it turns into dust. Yeah, that is inconsistent. Hmm. Oh. Perfect. Just what I needed. You build a simple bridge by putting up planks. I was not expecting that to work. No, <gasps> ah, 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 ah. no, 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 no. Are they still there? Oh, so they are. I guess I have to fight. All right. Three to six damage, bleeding. I guess? Miss me, bitch. Miss me, bitch. Ooh, fuck. Well, fuck, I'm bleeding, though. Hold on, hold on. Hang in there. Hang in there, bro. Come on. Oh my god. Well, I'm dead. Alright, well, rats are dangerous, guys. Apparently rats are very dangerous. Oh, come on. Really? Really? Oh god, it went much better for me last time. Wow. I had a much easier time. Oh my god. He's just gonna kill me with counterattacks. This- punching them went well, fine, last time. Well, at this point, I just kind of want to start over. He's got my health down so low. Like, Jesus. Oh, I'm fractured now. Apparently, I suck at medicine. Who makes medicine their dump stat? Thank you. God, it was a 50-50 chance. 
Why is healing ourselves a check? Okay, I- alright, now I know. Alright. <sighs> Whatever. I don't care for that. I think that's a little bullshit. No, we're gonna load that. That was bullshit, me wasting all those items. I think we're good. I might be a little more forgiving for that being a check if the game had told me it was a check. But their... their little tutorial thing doesn't have anything about that. It doesn't say specifics, just kind of gives you a vague outline. The portrait is torn with a huge gaping hole on it, revealing a secret passageway. But the intersection is blocked by collapsed debris. Okay, no secret passage for us. What's that? There's a peculiar sculpture here. Oh, yeah. Nice. You look closely at the sculpture only to find that it- that its limbs resemble the structure of a human body. As you look at it intently, it comes- seems to come to life in your eyes. You feel dizziness, like something has been taken away. Oh. Oh no. Entanglement and suction. In this turn, speed minus 50, strength of post check succeed, the strength will absorb. Oh no. Throw? I don't want to throw it. No, I don't want to do that. Magic? Use your perception to analyze all the factors that are beneficial to us on the battlefield and make use of them. May lead to cover, find enemy weaknesses, or other unexpected discoveries. Alright. Wow. Wow, me. I can't even observe, right? Bunker. Reduce the target's ranged damage to itself, and the target's ranged attack on you will add a penalty die. Corroding mucus. Once hit by the corrosive liquid, the target will receive 4 to 7 damage, which ignores armor, and the secretion liquid will increase one armor of the creature. Well, that's not good. Why do we even have this gun? We don't have any pistols for this gun. <laughs> Ow. It missed? What? Well, we can't just keep observing it. Sure, I guess. Throw it. Oh my god. I don't like the combat, it's literally random. I don't know what that means. <gasps> I can use items once per round! Tutorial also said nothing about that, okay. I'm learning so much. I didn't play the demo for this either before I bought it. I had that much faith in the game. Um... Which some people may be like, oh, that's crazy. But, nah, I was excited. I guess, I guess we're gonna smack it. Yay, two damage! Oh my god, I'm so fucked.
Well, if I reload, I'm gonna <sighs> fractured my ass. Really? Son of a bitch. Fine. Can we run? Is that an option? What is this? No, it's a reuse button. Got it. And no, we can't run away. <gasps> I can swap our weapons. Okay. 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 No, not skills. Yeah. Weapon attack would be great. Let's burn this ass. Ah, oh, fuck. I'm dead. Alright. I didn't know. I didn't know a lot of things. Alright. Actually, I can equip this to main hand. Alright. We are still gonna do observe first, because that did help us a bit. No, oh, observe this thing. I can't observe the other thing? Okay, I made it sound like I could before. Alright. Weapon attack, let's go. Oh, I didn't inflict fire. I didn't inflict fire. I mean, maybe it's a chance of inflicting fire. Ah, oh, fuck. Wait, what? What? But it said success on my end, excuse me. Yes, me, I'm not going to feed the enemy. Only one. Great. Love it. Throw candles! Oh, great. Well, nothing happened. Love it when it's just a plus one. Throw it! Well... Throw the candle! <laughs> Alright, well... <laughs> Great. I don't say I'm fractured yet, though. Fucking hit it! There it implies fire. Jesus. Oh, I failed to dodge, so... Oh, no, I guess I'm okay. <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! Oh, there's a battle log, that's cool. So, this is a bit tedious. And more than a little annoying. Oh my god, it's dead. <sighs> Fucking could have just ignored it. Jesus. I don't suppose I get any XP. Please.
love this fucking game. Yeah, so you got one. You want to roll out? Um, by God. Oh my God! Literally have to roll a fifty. Wow! See how many tries that fucking took me. I'm not fucking giving up all that luck just to heal a fucking fracture. I think they need to edit that. You shouldn't have to roll luck that many times to get something to happen. I understand what luck's supposed to do. It's supposed to give you an additional chance without taking making the game too easy. Fine. But make it worthwhile to use. For instance, if they're gonna use luck, using it once, just like a roll, fine, whatever. Don't do anything else. You keep it as you do. But if they roll luck twice, make the DC easier. Don't make your player do that. Have to roll 50 times to get a 50% chance thing to happen. That's ridiculous. That's so unbalanced. Especially when they make luck seem like this amazing thing and don't waste it. Well, don't make it wasteable. That might sound really aggressive, but I'm not trying to be aggressive. That is literally really annoying. And I know people are like, oh, well, you can just load back into the game. I shouldn't have to. What, what was I even doing? That was really annoying. Oh my god, if I have to do this again. There we go. That was fine. I didn't mind that. I just hope that makes sense to everybody. If you want luck to be something that's super sought out for and you want them to reserve it, don't make it wasteable. Make it incredibly useful, make it this thing that people are like, oh yes, give me more luck. Because as of right now, all it is is like, I might as well just load back into the game and try again normally. And maybe there's some modules where people aren't going to be able to do that. I don't know. But for now, it's... It's not as helpful as they think it is. When I say DC, by the way, make the DC lower. That's just the difficulty class, the difficulty level of the check should be lower the more they use that luck button. Like, decrease the difficulty of the roll by, like, five each time they use luck. Like, it should be more rewarding to use luck. So they will say, the amount of percentages of randomness in this game does annoy me a little bit. Just a smidge. I like it because it's kind of D&D-like. <sighs> but at the same time... After careful investigation, you finally find a stone covered by dust on the old bookshelf. After the dust off, it emits a faint light. Oh, is that a runestone? Like, I super love the artwork of this game. I super like what they're going for. It's like, it just needs some fine tuning, I think. In my opinion. Equip, speed plus five. When equipped at the end of the turn, when equipped at the end of the turn in battle, this item's charge will decrease by one. Oh, and it's got five charges. Okay. Special item with a shiny surface. Okay, so that's something we should probably keep for, like, boss fights? Because it has a durability. Oh my god, our torch is almost gone. No! Huh? There are two undamaged notebooks. Hold on, let me save! 
You feel something is falling from above. Thank you. A crystal falls from above and breaks into ashes on the ground. Then an explosion comes to your ears. How can this crystal cause an explosion? Pretty easily, it seems. It's magic. It's a magic crystal. Well... <laughs> this is funny, because... <laughs> The left one's already open, right? The right book is prettier, but it also has the shadowy blackness just kind of coming out of it. Let's read the safe one. X time X divided by X. Ronald has failed. I have no other choice but to lock him up. What exactly does Yignai, the symbol carved on his body by himself before falling into madness mean? This must be a significant clue. Ronald, I definitely can't let your effort go to waste. XX. This does not resemble the language of all existing and once existed civilizations. A man as calm as he was a man as calm as he was would only leave accurate words at a critical juncture. I need to read more bibliography and study the terms deeper. Uh, XX. I have found a clue. The awareness? No, it is my disposition. Not sure what it is. Many disordered, twisted symbols. Notes followed. It's clear that the owner of the notebook was in a bad mental state. XX. It's him. I should have known. I'm thinking about him. He has eyed me. I have to forget all this, of course. Right here, right now. No, I have to write it down. There is a long, torn line. Looks like the nib was pressed on the paper firmly. It seems that the nib was then twisted and broken, only leaving only a lip, single scratch that looks like a word. Mind. W what's this? Why is there a key inside my body? What'd I do? The seam of history. Again, is that rain or are we floating through something? You have come to a strange place. Facing left, where the comet stars twinkle, you have glimpsed your past and saw that the happiness and sorrows of the past ten years are in a bubble. And facing to the right, the stars dim. Here you can see that border and chaos are constantly alternating and the bizarre pictures have greatly refreshed your cognition. You saw a light that is 10,000 times brighter than the sun. Humans cause unusually cold weather. You hear playful laughter all around as if someone is admiring a gorgeous piece of work. You saw many twisted monsters spurning across the universe. Their actions are full of twists and madness. Gene is out of the control of genetics, drawing an ocean of flesh and blood. You saw the stars all around, you burning, the whole universe burning. There are more, no more sparks in the burned area. Only darkness is eternal. Okay. Choice. On the left is the past, where the cosmic stars shine brightly. On the right is the future, where darkness is endless. Here's my thinking, right? We go into the future. We might find out what caused the darkness. On the left... I think it's just going to be a nice time. <laughs> That's what I think. To the future. Hi, friendo! Hi. Afagamon... Afagogborn? To what? To wheel at mir... Erm... Mur erm? Erm... Er I searched the entire universe in order to find the missing uniqueness. I didn't expect to find you in the mirrored space-time in the end. Really interesting. Even if hiding is effective, it is a cowardly approach. Twelve at Erm. It was the right decision that I separated your consciousness. What happened? You 
you are devoured at the end of time. Oh. The story comes to an end. Time does not flow again. Yog Sothoth, who completes himself, awakens in all things. The violent power burns all things and stars in one instant. The universe is dead. Okay. So what if I had... So what was waiting for me then if on the left? Would have explained some things? Yes, I am aware of the seams of history to the past. Oh, it's our mom! Anon, my child. Please, never lose yourself. Place home, time, ten years ago. Did I really go back to the past? I keep hitting the wrong button. The story's super interesting. What is going on? Are we just a super magic family? Mom! 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 Are you alive? Oh, she's not here. Can I finally open this freaking drawer, please? There is a pendant inside, engraved with a mysterious rune. You touched the pendant and a memory came directly into your brain. With a bird eye view, you saw a boy lying in bed. Around you, an old man was having an anxious discussion with a man and a woman. The strange sub substance chose Anon as the carrier at the beginning, and soon it will be completely assimilated. Is there really no way out? The process of assimilation is irreversible. It can only be postponed. The old man looks down and begins to think. I can use a transfer spell to have the effect shared with you. Let me bear the burden, Grace, for you have not been well. Is that grandfather that's talking or our dad? The man walked up and embraced the woman. Don't worry about me, as you still need to take care of our children. It was dad. I wonder if that's why he's disfigured. All around, the light of the spell gradually lit up. If only Anon could forget this painful memory. Your memory ends here. Oh, honey. That's why. It's all my fault. Self-talk. You understood why Grandfather wouldn't let you leave the castle. You understood why your father was in the secret room all the time. You understood why those aunts and uncles fell into a slumber. You also knew why your mother had been taking treatments, yet her health never fully recovered. It's all because of you. And you only. That piece of the truth makes you suffocate. And you keep blaming yourself. Why did I survive like this? Another voice. It's you who came along and ripped our entire family apart. Suddenly a different voice appears in your head. This is our sister. One of the pictures had a little girl in it. It's you who took over my body and pretended to be human. The pain you feel now is less than a millionth of what I've felt. Are we the substance? This is strange. How long are you going to steal my identity like this? A surge, the impurity of the body coalesces in front of you. A silver key appears in its body. Finally, you have left me alone. It's all because of you, the strange who caused this disaster. All of this disaster. It's all, it's all because of me. You hear the raspy hissing sound coming from it. It's madness, it's resentment, it's a twisted cry. Although it is detached from your body, you are always connected to it, to its emotions, to its feelings. It's looking to you for relief. Oh. Does take it mean accept it? We'll see what happens. Uh, take it. In front of you stands the presence you have always hated, the strange. 
The pain in your heart has stripped it out and made it real. Once you've done the stripping, something crossed your mind that it is not the disease you thought it was. The disease has become a part of you. Actually. In the cracks of history, I spy my life is in a bubble. Anon didn't exist from the beginning. But I identify more with Anon than with an alien visitor. I was running away from myself. And attribute all my sins to the abstraction of you. Yet there's still hope. Grandfather mentioned once that I was the last hope. Am I a disaster, yet the hope itself? So basically we accepted that we were probably blaming everything on the disease, but it was really our fault. We basically were accepting responsibility. This is your family photo. There are about 10 people in the picture. A little boy is sitting on the knees of an old man with gray hair. Behind him stands a young couple. So interesting. Yeah, I'll take these candles. Uh. A group of black humanoid creatures suddenly appear from downstairs. Their faces resemble the mouth part of insects with blue liquid flowing down from their eyes. The slimy tentacles behind them and unusually sharp claws acting as hands indicate that they are very dangerous. Voice. Go, 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 go. Oh, oh, no, it's fine. I get it this time. Uh, this. No, go, 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 go. The moment you open the door, you see Grandfather in a chair. He smiles at you with relief in his eyes. The next moment, his body begins to become transparent. You can feel your heartstrings pulled way before the sadness comes in. Grandpa. I do feel really bad for him. It means that the singer tells the story in a straightforward manner. And we'll clip that door offhand. Does that mean we actually got magic? Glory of the stars, the strong wave, energy wave contained in the deep cosmos, if you can make good use of it, can even cause damage to the enemy from different worlds. Deal 3 to 12 magic damage make the target's realm protection lose its effect in the next two turns seems very specific i want to check everything before the obvious big trunk in the in the center oh come on oh come on Jesus. I'm gonna fucking load. That was ridiculous. <laughs> I just had to roll below an 80. A little above an 80 three times. It's crazy. It's a lower chance of happening than the actual roll. Thanks. Okay, what's this one do? At the beginning of battle... Uh, it's a nice recovery stone, I guess. I'll equip that. And honestly, this feels like something big's about to happen, so I'll equip this too. Oh, can I only have one at once? I'll equip that then. I need a couple heals. Oh! <gasps> Whoa! Naked lady! You open the box. What you see in front of you is a girl as delicate as a ceramic doll. 
Your heart beats a little more, but not all by her appearance. You feel an extraordinarily familiar, nostalgic, affectionate impulse, longing for completeness. Then the girl seems to be awakened by the noise and slowly sits up her body. You're about to ask some questions, but she interrupts you first. You try to speak up, but you can't control your body. She looks at you, and her eyes light up with the glow of a silver cross. You feel an invisible bond with her. Then you hear her soft, ethereal voice in your mind. Silver Key. I can understand your feelings of confusion. Come closer to me and I will tell you the truth about this time. Her eyes shine with stars and you can't help but get closer to her. I think this is a sister. Before your realization, she slowly places her hand on your forehead. You feel waves of information appearing in your head. Time, ten years ago, during the disaster, study room. The infection of the strange is different from simple assimilation into the body. Any spell or medicine that can be test used has been tested. None of them can be effective on Ronald. To solve the situation is like... To let an egg without its shell remain intact in a waterfall. To let a man floating in the sea without withstand the tidal wave and storm within his own mortal body. <sighs> wow. My ancestors, you warned us. The observer shall give incomparable sacrifice. This is our duty. This is the price just that we can get the truth. Here I pray for enlightenment. Hear me, the lord of the gate, the guardian of the abyss, lord of dimensions. Riddle knower, guardian of the secrets, all lovely titles. The oldest, all in one, and the one by life prolonged. Umar at tuwa Tuil. Iyak. Sothoth, Yog, Sothoth, Nabaha. Your servant calls upon you. Still not answering my prayer. I can only deliver the last plan. No matter what, we can't let the infection spread. The transmission point connection of Seleno is set. Today, the stars are in their correct locations. The success rate can be increased to 70%. Looking up at the stars for dozens of years and finally vanishing in the stars. What an ironic end. The moment the spell was about to start, Flowing mana was drawn away. The room twists and transforms, and a rock archway appears. In and out of the archway, it's like virtual and reality are separated by it. A soft, ethereal female voice came from inside the door. There is still a glimmer of hope. Are you willing to pay enough price? Pay enough of a price. As long as I can. Please take it. A silvery light covered George Hot Howard. He felt that his mind had never been so clear and thorough. So this is the truth of history. I understand. I will follow your arrangement. Grandpa! A child entered the door. At that moment, his figure went still at the second the door opens. The still time flows again. The parting of the past is once again staged. You, with such stubbornness, do not want to leave here. But in the end, under the hypnotic spell of your grandfather, you forgot everything. You left here like an empty shell. And now it's time to pay my price. Just as George Howard was about to take his toll, a voice came out of the void. Any last wish? If possible. I really want to see him grow up. 
The voice paused for a moment as if pondering or calculating something. Just one second. Is that enough? That's enough. When we came through the door... Oh, man. The time is frozen. Your consciousness is being carried by a flood through the memories of the past. Can a moment seem like ages? The silver key is the other me. A fog of morn is assimilating the entire universe. Our native consciousness has been overtaken by it. I have been banished to this universe. In this dimension, I had no control over my own power. In order to keep my will intact, I had to detach you to replace me. The silver key. If you open this ca time cage, time will be restored to its original time. Defeat the what? Hold on. Defeat the greedy. Truth of misfortune. In this timeline, Yanarm did not exist from the beginning. You are the strange itself. As an extraterrestrial visitor, you identify more with Yanarm's identity. But finally, you hear a ho hoarse roar inside you. It is madness. It is resentment. It is twisted wailing. Finally, you accept yourself. Now you are saddled with fate, looking for hope your grandfather described. Truth of time. Yog sothoth slept in the singular singularity of the universe, and his body gradually separates during sleep. Two main consciousnesses were born. They were Tawil Atmur, Umer, okay, so us, and Afogamorn. Afogamorn is a paranoid, violent, and powerful consciousness that, assimil that is assimilating the universe in a viral way. In order to take control of the body, swallow the rest of Yog sothoths will. So Wheel at Mur was deported here in order not to be wiped out. It separates you from the body as a vessel to bear his will. And now you know all the knowledge and gain the power of time. Just break the cage of time and you can wreck the wrong history. What's the wrong history though? Well, I don't need to be healed anymore, so I'll just swap those out. I have a lot of questions. I feel like I'm getting most of what's going on. Is this it? The hourglass freezes the current time. Don't allow the black sand to spread. Once the black sand is discarded, the assimilation will end. Oh, hello. The hourglass is broken and the black sand separates around. A huge eye emerges on the scene. Ah, no, 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 no. Or am I supposed to fight you? Rah! To wheel at Urm. You chose to construct a puppet to anchor your power. How ridiculous. I never expected you to be this weak. Without thinking, a name comes directly to your mind. Afogomorn. You think about how to deal with this situation when a teasing voice came through. Tawil at Urm. Umer. I'm very disappointed. You are the beginning and I am the end. We created time. But you hold the power of all knowledge. It changed you. Your will has chosen to leave us. Thus, I have to clean up and reset the whole space-time. Now, I have found a surprise. Originally, I thought I would find you and devour you to make up for what I lack. But I found out that human consciousness is really useful as long as there's enough. It can make up for the parts of you. So... I no longer need you to awaken our main body now. You pitiful puppet. To wheel at Erm's greatest mistake was to mold you into a human. What a weak race. After I destroy you, I'll have a good chat with Tawilat Urm. The silver key. As long as you do not lose heart, time will recast your body. Every time you fall, your willpower can be honed. 
In front of you is merely one of its billions of avatars. Afogelmorn never leaves the main body. His power cannot fall onto here for real. Okay, basically be prepared to die a lot. Future prediction. Predict the opponent's actions and the completely avoid the damage and effects caused by the opponent's next action. After using this action, you will get mental overload for one turn, and with this state, you cannot use predict future. Okay. I guess we'll go... I have no healing items! I should've bought more. No, I don't want to use anything. Because I think all is a medicine check. Yeah. No. I don't know what it does. I don't know what it does. how I'm going to survive this next. Time fluctuation. Oblivion. I don't know what's happening. Saving this? I don't know. I don't know what's happening. I don't think I can catch her on fire. I think she's immune. Yeah. I guess I'll try... just attacking her, because I don't have... My SP. I don't know. Hold off on using that. I don't think I'm supposed to.
This seems pretty final bossy. No, not what I wanted. Unarmed. What happened to my fuck? That was weird. I don't think I was supposed to get disarmed. so slow. So slow. I'm not even all that intimidated anymore. The scariest thing about losing this is just wasting my time. Oh, and I'm dead. Okay, I don't understand what I am to do about this. It is! Okay, so there is a pattern. She texts with flame chain twice, and then she does flame arrow. Okay. I understand. We're gonna get hit by it. And then we gotta use chant. Cause she gets this put back on her when she does it. Okay, I'm seeing it now. It's my bad, there was a pattern. I just didn't see it. I knew there was going there had to be a pattern. I knew there had to be. I don't know, we still got everything. Just equip that. Got it. A fuck more doppelganger was repelled. The whole space trembled violently and a very oppressive voice came from all directions. 
You can't hear the words, but you can feel the anger in them. Afog Morn can't go back in time to this hundred years of history. It is reversing time. In, a in of this whole space. Use the silver key. It is now or never. You must hold on. You see the water coalescing from the earth back into the sky. Once the clouds dissipate, dissipated, the sky becomes clearer. The sun sets in the east and the stars flow back like a river. The time around you is reversing back. You suddenly feel like you are on top of an ocean. A great black mist rises from the listless sea, being wrapped by the black fog you sink into it. You can almost see the stars among the depths of the ocean for a moment. You have fallen into the deep sea and into the stars. Fucking save. <laughs> if the ship of Thesis Paradox is about whether you are still you after replacing all things on the ship, and now it is to return all the substances in you to find out your origin. The matter of your body is as small as cells, gradually dissipating into particles, returning to their original individual. After returning all the matter, a silver key gradually appeared in the deep sea. He carries your spirit, your ego, and all your memories. The silver key glitters and sinks to the bottom of the ocean, and you are back in the place you once knew best. This is the line between valid and void, black and white are independent and maintain absolute balance. It should have been this way, but the void has eroded and the surroundings have become muddled. You see the twisted timeline veering off course and spreading towards the void, severing the void into shards with each convergent. Fragments continue to condense and clump together, forming dim spheres. Whoa. That's some art. You sense a strong will closing in on you. The darkness is absorbing you. Oh, come on. Don't you do this to me now. I swear to god. I swear to god! <laughs> Oh my god, I can't wait for you guys to see this on fucking video. 27. Oh, it needs to be a critical. Fuck it. The key is broken, you will be assimilation. In confusion, you hear Tuiletmer's voice. Silver key, don't fear yourself. You sense a strong will closing in on you. I don't know what you want from me, lady. I have only so much luck to give. I felt like that was the game's way of saying, hey, use all your luck on this. You have the power to grow, don't give- I have no more luck, lady. I feel like this is supposed to be a really intense moment, but I'm just not feeling it. Because I'm just so annoyed. Let it happen or make it a success. Death is not the end of life. Are we just reliving this? Constantly until you give us the number we want? Just continue with the story. Darkness and pain are both non-divisible of you. I'm supposed to roll a one. It Tin the darkness, the last silver brightens beside you and disappears then. You've become the sunless abyss. You keep sinking and your consciousness becomes gradually transparent. The darkness ahead has no end. But now you feel a familiar scent. It belongs to Tawil at Mur. But not exactly the same. Like a door, like the beginning of everything. Your consciousness gradually becomes transparent. You finally saw him. 
He holds you up and fills you up. His eyes are on you and you hear his words. Silver Key, will you blame me for creating you? It's fine. Coming into this world caused me to experience various forms of pain. Humans are too frail to be affected by various desires. Whether it is a family mission, a responsibility to others, or a concern in your heart which formed a chain of invisible shackles. But... Sometimes the pain caused by these shackles makes me feel warm and happy. And I finally realized it is a phenomenon known as wish. I have so many memories, so many priceless memories that I must remember. Will you like this world? I like the people of this world. They will both suffer and rejoice together. Even strangers' smile can make me feel warm. Because these people introduced me to the world and made me realize that I existed in it. Will you have any regrets? I have a lot of regrets. Many regrets. Over it's before I even try to solve it. In the end, I regret not being honest with them. The truth, pointless it's to tell them right now. I'm feeling guilty. Only now do I realize what I truly lost. We want to change this world, even if the cost will make you never exist. I want to change the world. I want to cut off this twisted timeline. I want these scenes of tragedy will never happen again. For this, I am willing to bear the heaviest fate. I see. My awakening ritual requires sacrifice beyond the greatness. But I, who have infinite and omnipotent authority, cannot sacrifice myself. So you will represent me to face death. Death means separation. All your past will be cut off. This space-time will no longer have anything to do with you. I will restart the original timeline and restore the twisted timeline. To recite my honorable name, I will wake up and come here. The All-in-One, the life by the one by life prolonged, Iyak Sathath. You have succeeded in awakening Tawil. As the first consciousness of Yog Sathoth, he takes over the body. Yog Sathoth awakens. Afago Morn's consciousness was forced into a deep sleep. In order not to be affected by its remaining characteristics, Yogg-Sothoth buried the part of alienation under the door of poverty. The Sunless Sea remained, regained its calm, but the assimilation of disorder still cannot be stopped. Chaos and entropy in this universe continue to grow slowly. At the beginning of time, a white mist covered the entire sea of lightlessness. Through a mist, you saw black distortion of the timeline back to the correct history. There's the picture. January 15th, 1905. Arkham. An old castle was built on a mountain range. A group of people in the castle were hosting a birthday party. Birthday dinner. They were celebrating the birthday of a family member who had just turned eight years old. The crowd stood together, ready for a family photo. A grown man smiling br br brightly, oh my goodness, while a beautiful, elegant woman was holding his arm. Looking good. <laughs> In the middle of the room is a dignified old man, whose face was taken by loving kindness today. For he was holding the main character of the party, a mischievous little girl with long, light blue hair. The gray beard tugged the old man by the little girl in his arms. So he, she tugged his beard. That sentence is weird, but she tugged his beard. The woman panicked, ready to stop the girl's nonsense. The little girl looked at the cheerful man with an innocent look who made a face back at her. This whole scene was successfully captured at that moment. Amy was busy organizing books in the library as usual. Time passed and she remained shy and timid. A poster slipped off the table while she was tidying up her books. She picked it up only to find it was Tosca, a poster placed by Opera Today. Vici d'art, vici d'amour. Et luché vin le stel. 
Amy looked at the poster and felt as if her heart was stirring. She wanted to say some words, but in the end, the voice in her head always disappeared. The feeling of disappointment overwhelmed her. What? What am I? Why am I crying for? At night, in the school office, Carl and Professor Julie are working at their desks. After finishing a pile of papers, Julie sighs deeply and complains to Carl. Students are getting worse and worse these days, as they don't dare to take any challenges. With such a trend, it would take less than a century to witness human beings degenerating into monkeys. Carl didn't make any comments regarding Julie's complaints. On the contrary, he said optimistically, This generation of young people is way better than us because they work harder to follow their hearts. Those who don't pay a visit to their hearts are always living in a dream. Not only do they understand the source of their consciousness, but they maintain such unique personalities. I guess old habits always die hard, for you've been acting strange all day. Aren't you anxious to find a protege who will continue your studies? Consequences will happen if that person was found out to be an irresponsible one. Have you found that person? Carl pulled out a bottle of whiskey and took a sip, which gave him a saddened look. I get, which made him look sad. I guess that not every moment in this life is enjoyable. And now we're in the library that's part of the trailer. Oh, that makes sense. In a palace made up of thousands of books, the light of candles wafts in it. The blank pages are constantly being written and erased. A young girl with long light blue hair was leaning on the long table in the middle of the palace, quietly looking at the boy reading the opposite book, book opposite her. After a long time, the boy turned the book to the end. At this moment, the girl spoke to the boy. This is the result of real history. They will no longer have any contact with you, and you no longer belong to any era. Star Key, do you regret it? Hearing the girl's question, the man reluctantly stroked the pages of the book. Finally, he rose his head and spoke to the girl. No, Sothoth. This is the best result. He finally slowly buttoned the book. And we have finished the scenario. And I think actually finished it, like the good end. You chose to assume your destiny, make the best sacrifice. But this is just the beginning. The distorted timeline still exists. Those terrible beings sleeping from the ages are waking up. Terrible disasters are brewing in every space and time. You resolutely choose to meet your destiny. To restore the power of yogg Zathoth, to stop the suffering from happening, the traveler of no age, on a journey that will never end. Is that good? Did I do a good job? Back to the hall? Go and tell Sothoth about the situation of the Sunless Sea. Sothoth, the spreading of the chaotic timeline in the Sunless Sea has been controlled. But is it really okay for you? It doesn't matter, as long as it doesn't consume too much power or space and time. I can still maintain the current cru critical point, but to completely erase all the abnormalities, I can't do that yet. Is there anything I can do to help you? You see Sothoth with some hesitation after hearing your words. The new space is still very fragile, and in order for the library to work... Starkey, I need you to travel to all the abnormal space and time. To influence the history and to resolve anomalies. And then bring that little bit of change back here, and that would become the power to fill the space and time. I know. However, Starkey... To the chaotic time of history, you need to establish a connection with the people in that space and time to get it involved. You'll obtain the same identity and experience as them, and their suffering and pain will be imprinted in your heart. My power will protect you from actual death, but you will still face the pain of death. Don't worry, Sothoth. 
I will go to all these places in history as I as soon as I can in order to help you re recover your power. Okay. And I'm guessing this is more like the main area. Oh, what a big typewriter. Holy cow. Wow. We got a cane. Horse Bazzy. A blue butterfly is drawn in the photo frame. To remind you of the most important time rule. The butterfly effect. Watch out for initial changes. Time is chained together. Any small change can cause an irreversible chaos effect. Yep. Butterfly effect. Custom scenario. Library of roll? Oh, this is where the character creation is! Ah, oh, dope! Okay. So we just did the prologue, basically. I don't have any historical associations yet. It's better to create an associated character first, then rewrite the fate. Huh? So I have to make a character first? Aha! Interlude story? The gate. What's the gate? Start space and time trip. What is that? What's an interlude story? I don't know. But do they have more scenarios? Let me let me look at the scenarios. I can use the books to determine the space time I'm going to next. I don't have any connector associated yet. It's better to create Oh, I have to create. I have to create someone. Can I still just look at things though? I just kinda wanna see where we're going. One of the books. I guess my bad ending didn't count, because it's not listed here. Lies and fraud. Saladnit. Huh. Rich Merchant Sherman asked the butler to find you. He has an urgent commission for you. Sherman has made a fortune in the construction business after the disaster. You know he has a very lovely daughter who's the apple of his eye, but it seems like she's been in bad shape. You've received a request from Mr. Carter, the owner of a mansion whose wife, Miss Carter, disappeared from her bedroom a week ago. Since Mr. Carter is a well-known collector and a jeweler in the locals, he suspects an attempt on his life. Thus, he hires you to investigate the case and act as his bodyguard in the meantime. Hmm. The train to Arkham has reopened after an eight-year hiatus. The train has significantly reduced the original journey time, for which you have been planning this vacation trip for quite some time. You boarded this long-distance train to get faster to the sunny side vacation. Okay, so there's three scenarios in early access right now. Outside of the prologue, as I call it. I wonder what Morden means. We'll probably start with lies and fraud. Okay, but I'm gonna end this here because this seems to be the hub area. So I guess what we just did today was the prologue. It's a little confusing, but if I was to sum up everything about the prologue, we were a boy. No. So the disease that attached to us was Half of Sothof, basically, I think. Half of the Time God, and we just kind of grew up, and our family loved us, and was trying to protect us, and fix us, and they couldn't because we're half of a god, and we gave ourselves up to basically reverse or fix time for them so they were happier something like that. I don't know. It was all very confusing. It was kind of Cthulhu-y for me, and I don't really understand anything about Cthulhu other than, wow, that was a lot of stuff that just happened. But yeah, I really do like the game, even though I don't 
entirely understand the prologue and only really got bits and pieces of it, and that could be due to not quite right translation, because there definitely were some really awkward sentences. I'm super excited for more of this. It's got like that creepy horror atmosphere to it, and I really enjoy it. And the art's really nice. Hopefully the other stories are less confusing. Again, might have been bad translation. But I hope you guys like this, because I do plan on playing more of it. And I'll see you guys in another video. Bye, guys.